pretend it doesn't exist, but I, I'm in the midst of sewing things, so I'm not gonna clean it up if I'm in the middle of doing it, okay? Just putting them there to dry. They're not gonna live there, okay? Where did I get this? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got this one from Vista Print. And I got this one from Staples. send you this plate in the mail and you just stick it on and then you have your own little stamp it's pretty cool this was the first custom stamp that I got because it was the cheaper one so now I need to let all of these boxes dry. I think I'm gonna make myself some food and play some Minecraft and just relax because honestly, I need to feed myself. I'm feeling low fuel. As you can tell at this point, I started folding more boxes and knocking them over <laughs> constantly. Um, especially when there's nothing in them, they are super light and wobbly, so it was really hard to deal with the big stack, but... <laughs> Bam. You wanna see another one? Oh my god. <laughs> wanna see me knock those boxes over again? <laughs> Now I gotta put the stickers on them. Da -na -na -na. <laughs> I printed these off with my little foam memo printer. This thing is so awesome. I've been using it since I started my little website and started like posting my art. And it's held up really well. I use it a lot. So this is the front, right? <laughs> like right in the center kind of as centered as I can at least that's so cute slick box <laughs> now I'm going to do all of them Now that I got all of my slug boxes made. <laughs> oh god. Um, now I'm gonna keep working on my market setup. I'm gonna try to pre-set it up as much as possible and like to the point where I'm gonna try to number the panels and everything so I can be as quick as possible. Because I am traveling so far, um, I want to be able to set up as quick as possible and kind of be super organized beforehand. So I'll show you a little bit of my market setup. Just put everything out on display. Now I'm gonna make my table more of a spectacle, more of like an art piece in itself that also sells stuff. Or I feel like it was a little too um, busy and a lot of stuff got a little damaged that way so I feel like this is gonna make it a little bit easier for everybody involved including me <laughs> and my helper we made it up the stairs with all the boxes good thing there's nothing in them yet so I can just do that <laughs> but yeah basically these plus I wrote little stories um it's kind of like a little quick introduction, like a, 
hi, my name is this because of this. And this is like a little fact about me or whatever. <laughs> For these guys, I made a bunch of these. Um, I made some reels about it. <laughs> That's about it. But yeah, I wanted to try my hand at making kind of like a mystery box type thing. Not completely a mystery box, but like, kind of. <laughs> um, I wanted to make it handmade. So there's all of these little banana slug guys with their little strawberries. Um, there's six of just like the regular ones and they're all basically the same but they have different poses these two have a very similar posture and these two but no two are exactly like like with every handmade item then there's the two special ones <laughs> there's the little tiny guy with the strawberry hat and then this guy which he's kind of a mismatch with the other mystery box which isn't they don't have like the little extras they're just all kind of the same they just have different shapes of like the tops of them let me show you there's eight of them they're pretty sick i these are the ones i made first um they're kind of inspired by like little models, little D&D &D or Warhammer models, just the way like the base is and everything. It's around the same size as like a normal base would be anyways. So they're kind of like little figures in a way. You can also just kind of like put them on your um, windowsill or on your crystal table or in your car, you can put it on your dash of your car. Um, there was another cute one I thought of. I don't remember, you can put them on your head. Hell, they're very durable. <laughs> they're covered in resin, they can take a fall, they're durable. And they're also little desk buddies that I'm gonna be kind of boxing and you kind of get like a random shape you don't per se get to choose the shape but these ones are all way closer um i tried to make these ones as similar as possible <laughs> i still have a lot to get done i still have to put together earrings i also made little mushroom earrings and i need to price all of my earrings i put together most of the earrings but i still need to price all of them these all have their own set price um for the most part so do my stickers and all my magnets i usually have one price for them too unless they're the handmade magnets then they're i'll put a little price on them you know there's some things you can't avoid it you just have to put a price on it like a physical price because you want to avoid the awkwardness of like helping a bunch of people and like this one person is trying to decide if they want to buy this. They don't want to have to interrupt your transaction or whatever just to ask one simple question like how much is this? And like <laughs> I personal, personally feel like I'm gonna, I'm gonna offend somebody when I ask how much it is and then they tell me how much it is and then I put it back down and I'm like ooh, <laughs> I hate doing that. I have my own personal budget. I don't want to have to <laughs> explain that to anybody. I don't want anybody else to feel the need to explain their own personal budgets. I, it did markets all year last year, every weekend, except for two um, in the summertime, not all year, but like June till August, um, till the end of August. And it, it was really fun, but it was definitely like a learning experience. You learn a lot. I started Kind of catering to the people that came to that particular market i don't want to do that i want to have my own style and whoever is into that can be into it if you're not into it you're not i'm trying different types of markets um, i'm going to tomo arts market i already said that in my last um video but i still i'm really excited it's my farthest market it's in edmonton alberta 
Um, and my other one is called Art Spot, and it's the weekend after Tomo. Um, and it's in Calgary. And I live in neither of those places. So I'm kind of like going on tour in the start of June, the first two weekends, I believe, or the second weekend and the third weekend. Art markets are more my audience. That's the people that are gonna enjoy my art more. Like I've made everything at this point. I don't have time to order any more stickers. And frankly, I have a bunch of other stuff to deal with. <laughs> so I don't wanna put on the added stress of making more stickers or making more keychains or anything like that. I'm just putting together what I have. I have earrings to put together. I got slug boxes to pack up. I got to make the boxes for these dead shroom, skull shroom guys. I kind of like skull shroom better. Oh, I think I already made a reel and called them dead shrooms, but I can change it. I haven't sold them yet. So <laughs> they're not technically released. I can change the name, I think. Another thing I need to do is I have a whole layout for my market. I did a little doodle, um, but basically I have two towers. There's one tower that's gonna be a sticker tower, and then there's going to be the other tower that is kind of behind where I hang all my keychains and like extra earrings and stuff. And then I was gonna have a banner that says tiny on the top with like little flags, but that means I would have to make that. <laughs> Um, and how many days do we got left? I will grab a calendar right now. It is May. May 7th? I'm pretty sure it's May 7th. My market. My market's 10th and the 17th. So I have basically a month to be completely prepared, like to get there, to be packed, and to go. So, I've been preparing, I'm a little stressed out, but not that stressed out. I want to get ahead. Basically, my plan is if I can finish everything that I need to get done, that's when I can start making little extra stuff. Because I keep getting little ideas of more things I want to make and more things that I would like to bring. There's a lot of really cool artists in Edmonton, so I'm really excited. And this Art Spot one has like artists of all different types of talent. It's like a barbecue and there's music. So these two markets are completely different. And I'm excited to be an artist at an art market, not an artist at a farmer's market. A lot of packing to do. A lot of work to be done. for snack. Really worked out well either. Why do I have so many dishes? And then the water. Get yourself some nutrition. Oh, okay, that was not gonna lie, that was a little too much. I like it <laughs> a lot, but like <laughs> A little more than I wanted. Well, welcome to my basement. <laughs> um. 
it's super echoey down here um and that is a very bright light but this is the start i'm gonna have my banner right down the middle um and then like you saw in the picture earlier um the two towers and then oh, i'm hoping this is gonna be enough space of course i'm this is why i'm doing this so i can figure out if this is gonna be enough space i bought these little hook things that just <laughs> if i can do it that just attach on and then i have all of this crap these are the two boxes from last year that i took to my market this is my sticker show off thing right like it's okay but it's really boring <laughs> I want something a lot cooler and like I had all these little hang up things on here with all my earrings and it just like it was okay I like it but like it still had this frame on it too I popped the frame off of it because it broke just contemplating like cutting this in half and making it into the towers but it wasn't tall enough <laughs> that's also why I'm not doing outdoor markets this year is because I want my table to look more like artistically pleasing and cool and that stuff is not safe for outdoors um, my stuff almost blew away last year I have the big canopy now that matches my felt <laughs> so that's great that I spent all that money on the canopy but I'll still use it one day this is how far I've gotten <laughs> um, this weekend so I haven't done much other than I made a couple reels for Instagram and um, YouTube, stuff like that. I updated my YouTube pictures because I feel like they were getting a little old and they didn't really show off my art style and kind of who I am now, I guess. And now I'm going to try to um, design the packaging for the other desk buddies the i think i'm gonna call them dead shrooms i think i've decided on dead shrooms because i use that term more often than skull shrooms <laughs> this is a part of the process that you don't always get to see naming stuff is the hardest part personally i have such a hard time naming my pieces <laughs> that like most of them don't have names but because it is a physical product and it needs packaging and it needs advertisement, I need to have a name, you know? <laughs> but yeah, that's what I'm gonna work on. I'm gonna go sit either on my phone on Procreate or on my iPad and design a just kind of something similar to the Slugbox logo, but with the little dead shroom instead. And they have stats. Um, I'm still not completely through with figuring out who gets what stat exactly or if they're all gonna have the same one but yeah we'll figure it out um the slugs all have their own personal bio so I feel like um although all of these skulls look very similar that they should at least have a little bit of a different bio I don't know I might get too lazy though it's getting really close to uh market month and like the market's at the start of the month next month so i'm really trying to get everything packaged so i can start pricing things and start working on more advertisement i want to put a little illustration of some sort out like little a little illustration of me sitting at a little table with the little castles or something like that i don't know but i want to make it so i hope i can um, but yeah, that's my plan for today is designing stuff and playing Minecraft and feeding myself and cleaning my kitchen. It's in a slightly better state than before a couple days ago when you saw it last, but it's just kind of an ongoing project, you know, every time I clean it, it's right before I cook again, so...
I gave them the little stat card on the back <laughs> because I feel like they're all pretty similar. I wanted them to kind of just be like different shapes of the exact same thing versus like these slugs. I wanted them to have their own personality, you know? Tuesday the 16th, I believe. I also do have a shift today in a couple of hours at my day job. I do, I just thought I would get a little bit of packing done. Oh, did I just run out of this? That would suck so much. Usually I only use it for stuff that like I want people to be able to remove because it's not really as harsh as these. I feel like these um, would rip this like unfinished paper. The big left, right. I need to go to the craft store and find more of this color, <laughs> the light blue, because I made these flags for the top banner of my market stall above the towers, and it seems like it's going to be a little too short. Like, I want it to be a nice big banner so i'm thinking that i will remake this but in the opposite colors and then like switch these two out for the opposite one and then it could say tiny twice i'm not sure what i'm to do to be honest all i know is i need more of this blue but yeah right now i'm just cutting out this extra flag out of this blue because I was going to try to do the opposite colors. Or I can make like a little mushroom or something to go in between them all. On these blue flags out of purple. Regardless, I want the blue flags to be in the middle and this is literally the only sheet of blue that I have is this one. So I need to find some more blue felt today. And I also have a shift at my day job. My table, I'm kind of trying to go for that type of vibe, like ye old market stall <laughs> in between the two towers. And it's also on theme with the pins that I made this year. Here's one of them actually. Um, 
this little castle pin. I cut out the middle part um, to make the two towers that are gonna go on the sides of my market stall. So basically this is the big cutout that you see, <laughs> just without the middle. Also, fold these over and sew them and attach them to a string and cut the edges. So I still have a little bit of work to do on these, but I'm gonna leave the edges raw, like the these edges I'm gonna leave raw. But I want it to be like a pattern. It looks so cool when it's like that. But I didn't plan to do that when I made these, which is my mistake. My brain is stuck on this right now. I really wanna figure it out. This is kind of the last larger project that I have to complete for my market. I just need to finish these final little things and pricing stuff. All the tedious work that is not fun. This is the last fun thing left to do and even then it's kind of hurting my brain. <laughs> but yeah, I'll check in later or maybe when I'm getting this. We shall see. I'm gonna try to pick it up on my way to work. Hello and welcome to another grubby girl update. I slept in hardcore today because it's my first day off from my day job. So my boyfriend kindly just let me sleep in today. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just finished me. Can you not? You've been sleeping for hours, and then you just start licking yourself and stretching all loudly. Bruh. I have been working on my flags. These are still wet, the little mushrooms. But yeah, I got the tiny done. <laughs> tiny. These mushrooms in between all of them. I don't know if I can hold this up. <laughs> like this, oh yeah, I can. It'll go above us while we're vending. I'm so excited. <laughs> that actually does look way really cuter now that they're all together. I was thinking that the mushroom blue ones were a little boring. But now I'm thinking they're cute. <laughs> now I just need to kind of line them up a little bit and put something heavy over them so that they dry nice and flat and stick together because I have two markets to go to this summer. I want them to last through both of them. That's also why I made them out of felt and not out of paper. But I bought these big green pieces of paper that I am going to put these numbers on. But I need to number and price all my stickers and stuff before I start making like more fun things. Like this was kind of mandatory. It's fun, but like it's also advertising. It's like to show people this is where my table is. <laughs> but like little, I wanted to make little foam cutout guys to go in here too. And I mean like flat colored foam. I don't mean like 3D. This foam. <laughs> They're like little sheets of foam. I, used to, I haven't used these since like probably elementary school, but they look like they're going to be a lot of fun to make little characters out of, like just little cutout characters to put in the windows <laughs> and then they can have their little arms up 
and they can be holding like a sticker with a number on it too. And it's gonna be a little chaotic, but we'll see. I need to number all the stickers first of all. So that's my next, that is my next project to get finished. Which is not fun, but it's gotta get done. So let's go. Tiny. And then of course I have a big vinyl sign that says tiny mutation on it fully, so just having tiny isn't that big of a deal. Oh it's so cute! I'm so happy. And then it's gonna be in between the two towers. Just envision another tower right there. Hello. <laughs> I scared my dog. We are 11 days out till Tomo and I'm scared. It's Monday morning. I have, <clears throat> I have to work for the next three days um, for my day job. <laughs> Um, and I've been packing like crazy. I have was doing um, pin prep until like 2 a.m. last night. I was making a big little scroll of tassel stickers because I realized that once you put them in their little, if you put them in their little package, you can't tell that these little windows, if you charge them, sorry, <laughs> I flashed you, but you, these little windows go in the dark, but you have to charge them like in the sunlight, like the little UV glow in the dark thing. I don't know the science behind it, but it charges it. And then they glow. Well, I wanted the package to say that so I don't have to tell every single person because I might forget there's a chance that I will forget so um yeah I have that information printed out I printed out oh there's stickers stuck in between <laughs> but I printed out a big stack of fantasy bags as well so that I can pack all the rest of these um they're all dry right now these bags came out really cool. And this is the stamp that I was using. I carved it like last year, I believe. Um, and I was just using black stamp ink pads to make it easier for me so I don't have to like brayer on every single one. But I was using a brayer to like evenly distribute it. Like I would put it like this. Oh my God. <laughs> put it like this. Put one of these on top, and then you brayer the top. Kind of roll it out, give it a little left tap, and then take it off. This is another one that didn't print very well. This is like too light. I only had a couple fails though, surprisingly. Um, I'm feeling really low energy from staying up so late last night. <laughs> Definitely regretting it a little bit, especially because I work in like two hours. So I was gonna try to get something done. I was try to, gonna try to continue packaging those castle pins, but honestly, I've also been trying to figure out what to do with my hair for the market. Um, another thing I need to figure out is payment. Um, I have one of those little Shopify tap and pay, slide pay, 
little machines that has never really worked well for me. I want to be able to test this out before I go. If not, um, I could always express ship a square card reader, but I really don't want to add another monthly payment. Oh, are you dreaming? Uh huh, he's dreaming. Sleepy. But yeah, I don't really want to add another monthly fee, and I'm pretty sure Squarespace has a monthly fee for like the better options. But yeah, other than that, other than that, my dog is being loud. <laughs> All I have left to do is take pictures of my new mushroom earrings, pack those, finish packing enamel pins, um, and make a nicer price list for my earrings, and then make a cheat sheet for us. So I have 11 days to do all that. I'm really happy that I finished my banner though. I honestly didn't know if I was gonna be able to get it done. But I want to get all this stuff done so that I can move on to like the extra project that I wanted to do beforehand, which is make little like foam cutout guys to put in the windows. Look at the stack. And also I only have 13 backing cards left. So I thought I overestimated. And I thought I got 150 of them last year, which I mean, that's what you get for buying something last year and then not fully packing all of them until a year later. So I might have to order some new cards, which they're, I like them to be colored, but honestly, they might just be black and white. They're not gonna go with it though. I'm contemplating just getting those ones reprinted, but then I'm gonna have to go find the file. I don't know, I'll figure it out. It is currently June 1st, so there's nine days until I leave for the market and 11 days until Tomo Arts Market and then 17 days until Art Spot Market slash art show gallery. I'm so excited. So this is the current packing situation. I stamped all of these in the last clips that you saw a couple days ago. And then I worked on my day job for a couple days and now I'm packing as many pins as I can. This is literally my last card. So I ordered more cards. So it's a new design. I don't know if it's gonna be here in time though. So I'm just packing a little bit of every pin on the cards that I have left. And then we're just gonna hope for the best that those cards come in the next couple of days here and then I can pack the rest there's honestly not that much left um but yeah it's mainly just castles but there's more castles than there are of these so that's why there's so many castles left when really I have all of those those are all castles too that are on backing cards so yeah I'm gonna get doing this <laughs> I've really been wanting to make a zine before the market, but I don't think that's gonna happen. So, we shall see. And thus begins another packing montage. I spent a good four to five days, not straight, but staggered, like two and a half weekends straight. Uh, packaging all of these pins. I really did not expect for it to take this long, but um, that's what you get when you print your own stickers and print your own packaging and print your own everything and do it all by yourself. But it was definitely worth it. Um, I love how they all turned out and I definitely would not take it back. But next time I will definitely be Printing them professionally, not by myself. Hello, it's June 1st 
an unpacking pin. <laughs> um, I'm pretty close to done everything that I need to do at this point. Um, mainly just last minute packaging, set up things like pricing certain things and um, making last minute little signs and stuff so that everybody knows what's going on. Um, also making things like this, which are display items. Um, I still need to print out little tags that say display only um, because you get it like this. It's a little more protected and a little more eco-friendly of packaging that I use, but you can't see what it is in here with this packaging, with the little paper packaging. I still have like labels so I know what they are, but um, yeah, then you can see what's what you're getting. This writing is from last year, so I honestly just decided to reuse it because I'm running so low on backing cards. I'm just gonna use these ones. There's also like three or four that are packed with backing cards with writing on in here. Ta -da. That's basically all I have left to do is make samples, make sure all the samples fit for the display items, make sure they all fit into where they're supposed to go. And then I'm basically ready. I'm so excited. And I still need to figure out payment and stuff, so. That's another thing that I've just been ignoring. I think I'm just gonna order a square card reader and hope that it comes this week. I'm still undecided on what I wanna do with payment options and it's getting really close. So pray for me. I hope I figure it out. <laughs>